Am I the astronaut for not giving in to my ex-wife in regards to meeting her to swap the kids? Let me preface that this isn't a situation where I'm trying to not spend time with my kids. They are my life and I do everything I can for them. My ex-wife and our kids live five hours away from me in St. Louis. I would love to live in the same area, but unfortunately, this is how it turned out given that I couldn't find adequate employment close to them, which is why I moved where I live now. I have an incredible job that I love and get paid very well for. This also allows me to provide for my kids better than with my previous job. My job is very flexible. My boss is very understanding and accommodating, of course, to a limit. I also only work four days a week. Before this school year, when the kids started homeschooling, I would do turn and burns every other weekend, driving the full distance there and back just to see my kids. Multiple gas stops, booking hotels and Airbnbs, taking the kids to go do fun things each time. It was very expensive and insanely exhausting. However, I didn't care because I got to see my kids and spend time with them. To give a little context as to how much travel I've done, I bought my current vehicle in 2021 with 28,000 miles on it, and now two years later, it has 73,000 miles on it. Over half of that was related to the kids. Fast forward to today, given my schedule and that my ex-wife homeschools our kids, we started meeting Thursday afternoon slash evenings to swap the kids so I have a full day on Friday to spend with them. My boss is okay with me working longer days, Monday through Wednesday, to bank hours so I can still hit my 40 and leave work earlier on Thursday. This also allows me to not have to officially take time off. Come Wednesday, she asked me what time we were meeting tomorrow. I informed her that I was going to be able to leave work three hours earlier than usual, meaning that I should be able to keep to the pre-agreed halfway point so we can swap the kids relatively early in the afternoon. I told her when I was leaving and when I should be able to arrive at the meeting point. It wasn't a demand or me telling her how it's going to be. It was just simply telling her what it will be because of what time I got off. She then said that I don't take into account how hard it is on her with the travel and that the time frame is very inconvenient for her. She's frustrated with traffic and how late she gets back. She then said moving forward that I may need to start taking additional time off to make it easier for her. I refused. To be honest, I don't care about what's easy for her. All of the stress, frustration, and inconvenience that I went through with driving and spending didn't mean shit because it wasn't about me. It was about the kids, and that's what I had to do to see my kids. On another note, I also agreed to do a turn and burn one of my two weekends and do a halfway meet for the other. To me, that's pretty damn considerate. My kids are absolutely everything to me. My ex-wife is a good mom, but this is the way it is right now. So, am I the astronaut for not giving in? Initial question here is, am I the astronaut for not giving in to my ex-wife in regards to meeting her to swap the kids? So, she's she's wanting you, OP, to, to take additional time off to make, make the transfer easier for her. I don't know if you guys have a, uh, a parenting plan, like an official one filed with a court. If you don't, it would probably be a damn good time to get one nailed down because... Whenever problems like this start creeping up, having a rock solid document that you can look at and say, this is the agreement. If you're going to deviate from the agreement, it, it, we, we both have to agree on it. Um, you're already doing more. And maybe because you moved away from home, I'm assuming St. Louis was home. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming that that was your home as well. And you moved away from there. And again, disclaimer, this is not legal advice at all. I'm not qualified to give any kind of legal advice. I'm simply speaking from experience. If there is a, a parenting plan already set by, um, by the court, then, then that's what you should follow. If you're, you're going above and beyond right now, you're doing more than you should. Uh, yeah. Ava Thunder's dad, we meet him halfway. Candy Thunder said by I, I mean you, uh, because I do the driving. I'm, I'm a driver. I don't mind doing that. I don't mind doing the long hauls. That's, that's completely okay. Um, if you don't have something filed already, definitely it is a damn good idea to have that agreement in writing. You're already you're already doing more work for it. And, and in my experience and a lot of the things that I've seen, um, you know, a, a court will grant additional favor to the to the parent that's willing to do more and go the extra mile to make sure that the other parent gets um, gets frequent and meaningful contact. So whoever is more reasonable is going to get more favor there. That's the way it should be, at least um, you're already you're already doing more than that. You, your ex cannot dictate changes to your work schedule. I understand that the schedule is tough and, and trying to leave at a certain time. And I also understand that, that, you know, you have your work schedule and you can get out at a certain time, which means that you would arrive at this place at a certain time. I highly doubt 
that um, that you have this expectation of her being there at this time on the dot. You're going to be understanding that sometimes things are going to get slowed down. How old are your kids? Did we go into that? Because that that may have a lot to do with this. Seven and eleven. Okay. Um, so I mean, toddlers are are way harder to to get going at a specific time because they don't give a shit you know and and seven and eleven year olds don't really either so it's it's tough to get kids moving um and out the door and i understand that but but guess what like you have kids you have to go somewhere that's just that is the way that it is now if you if you find yourself in a situation where where she is actively creating difficulty for you to be able to see your kids you've got something that you need to start logging and by logging i mean like you can you need to start taking some written written accounts of what these what's happening here uh putting it in writing makes it real as far as a court goes again not legal advice because i don't have any kind of credentials to be able to give you legal advice but but writing it down and creating a log makes it real so um it would be a good idea to do just to keep track of these things, because at some point, if it becomes a pattern and you want to change something, you need to change something with that parenting plan. You're going to need to substantiate it with some kind of evidence here and and keeping a log of what's going on with it right now is a damn good idea. Legal crap aside, you're absolutely not the asshole here. You can't you don't have the power to say, hey, boss, my ex says that uh, that you need to give me additional time off so I can meet her at this point. Your boss doesn't give a shit. The company doesn't give a shit. The world doesn't give a shit. Like it's tough to get going with kids. We understand that. Everybody understands that. You still got to do it. 